Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stan Lab. All right, have and have nots, the Veronica show, the and Demonica hell show. Hell yeah, it was a freaking Demonica show for show. We always get disappointed when the shows come to a head because in Tyler Perry world, as usual, he ain't told us nothing about Amanda. Nope. And her, her so-called murder. Where the hell is Celine and them boys? Yep. <clears throat> Whole lot of missing pieces. We saw on the preview from um, last week that Wyatt was supposed to be getting it in with Anna. Did y'all yeah, see it? I ain't see I it. I didn't see it. Unless they, unless they aired it in another freaking location, but we ain't see it here in the VA. We ain't seen Quida. We ain't seen the racist neighbor, which I'm, a, I'm glad about it. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna get right into it. Um, so before we even start this, thank you all for everybody that's been rocking out with us. Yes, I know indeed. This has been a trying season. Mm hmm But it always is in Tyler Perry world because what? All roads lead to Ford Motor, Motor Company. Company. Keep that in mind. And when I say that, that means that it don't make sense. But at the end, we're going to get there. we just yeah. going to get there. We don't know when. <laughs> we, might not. <laughs> we might not ever get there. When he moved to BT, we might get there. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got Candace and her mama still in this funeral home. In this good establishment causing a god doing scene. And, um, had a brain fart. Candace was like, listen. You did this to make me suffer. And I said, you know what, Candace? We all gave it to you last week. Yeah. And for me, like I told everybody, I, I felt for all of them at different times. I was mm -hmm. with them at different times, and I was against them at different times. Yeah. All in the same God doing setting. So she looks at her mom, and I say, all right, Candace, you push your God doing luck. The little bit of sympathy that we have for you, we get rid of losing. Uh -huh. And she told her mom, you did this to spite me. You did this to hurt me. What did I ever, ever, ever do to you to make you hurt me so much that you would allow this to happen to my baby? And I'm sitting here like, and Hannah's looking at her like, Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I'm like, Hannah, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. But she had a good point of like, what I ever do to you? I didn't, I don't mama ever see her do anything, her mom. Not that I can recall. Her mama let something happen with, I'm not going to say let, but under her roof, some things happened to her. Yeah. And we still have not got a clear explanation about it. That's right. We know that she got touched and molested, but we still don't know who Candace's daddy is. Mm -mm. She need. I we know who Benny know. Daddy is. Well, he the deacon down at the church. He tried to steal his god darn organs, <laughs> and then when he couldn't get that, <laughs> yeah. he couldn't get it. He left. <sighs> so your choice of men ain't always been good either, Hannah. Uh -huh. So, but I'm not gonna talk about you. So Candace told her, "Listen, I can't wait to the day that you drop dead and die, so I can spit on your wooden box." I, I said, was like, "Don't." Candace said, "We playing. We playing that kind." That's okay. So Man. Hannah looks at her and tells her, say, you just sat there and predicted your own daggone death. But instead of there being one person standing over, there's going to be two. And I was saying to myself. No, she, what she should have did was she should have color purple and said everything you said to me. <laughs> oh, I already did it to you. you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have fit so good. Oh, that would have fit, dang. See? That's all I had to do. See, that's why Tyler need to hire me so I can yeah. get off of this corporate America yeah. job, man. Because they felt pissing me all the way off. Tyler, you need to hire us. <laughs> Everything you do <laughs> gonna fail. <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah told, Catherine, uh, told Candace, and no, that, that's you that you're talking about. You, what you try to put on me, that's what's gonna happen to you. You don't sit there and skid it on everybody. You skid it on me, you skid it on your brother. You got all these Say, men that you don't messed around with, so that's gonna that's gonna be you. That's she, gonna be you. And she said something that pissed me off. Say, I told you that God was gonna do something to get your attention. I hate that. Come on, so God. Are oh, you trying to say that God did this? I was glad that she said that. But she wouldn't. She wouldn't. She, she can't try to get her. I want you to say that God did this, but she wouldn't do it. No. Because it sounds good, but <coughs> no. the logic of it makes no no, no. God doing sense at all. Nah. God don't But that'll mess up a lot of people, though. Yes. Yeah, when you especially, especially when it comes down to a little child, you're going to say that the Lord killed this little child to get, your, to get your attention. He couldn't do nothing else. Man, all he had to do was freaking flick the light in your room while you're there by yourself. Attention. I'm here, God. <laughs> but kill a child? Come on, man. Nah, mm -mm, don't do that. 
So Candace was like, you know what? If God did this, then I don't want to have nothing to do with your God. You could take your God and basically shove him up your ass. And she said, and you still want to have my son's funeral at a church? church after you just said that out of your mouth? And I'm saying to myself, Candace. See, I'm a faith person, but the way you putting it, making me, yeah, I'm with you on that. Don't, she, mm -mm. she said, fuck all this bullshit. He being cremated. Hey, you, come with me. And I said, oh. First of all, how did this cat let them um, <laughs> cause all this commotion and hit good funeral establishment? Then they're yelling, howling, and screaming in a place where it's supposed to be quiet, serene, nice. You're supposed to pick out your caskets. Everybody supposed to whisper. Can I say something? But they black. I forgot. Yeah, they black. Yeah. <laughs> when does quiet and black go together? And die? When? Who? The only way quiet go with black is when we eating. And dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a way about it then, we still be talking. And you let some people tell it, we still talking. Uh-huh. The cast can be closed, we still in there talking skit. You remember... You, wait a minute, uh -oh. wait a minute, rabbit hole, rabbit hole. You remember when your grandma passed away and his grandma wore a hearing aid, right? <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so we're at the funeral home and they was like, do you want her to be buried with all of her personals, right? And they were like, yeah, just the way that she passed, that's the way we want to go ahead and, you know. <laughs> and the funeral director said, well, I'm going to have to give you the hearing aid. So everybody in the family was like, he said, no, listen, this don't happen before. We don't close the casket up and noises started coming out the <laughs> casket in the middle of the service. So you need to take this here home with you. And I said, if we had been sitting at that funeral and, and they that, closed that box up. And that song be went on? Huh, baby. Huh? I would have told they got to a church up. They would have to put me in a casket. What? It, it, I've been buried really long with my grandma. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good little way to go, though. Right in Grandma's bosom. Hmm. Hmm. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. So, funeral director was like, "Okay, if you want to get him cremated, basically, this is what I got to do." And by this time, Catherine had walked up in there. Catherine was like, "Hannah, I can get a judge to overrule that. You do have custody of this baby." Now, mind you, this whole time Benny is over there. He, he going is. through it. <laughs> He all down in his shirt. I said, what you got, bosoms now? What's going on, Benny? Benny all down here like this. Toe up. I said, Benny, get it together. Get, I feel him, though. I would have been toe up, too. They have been my little cousin like yeah, I would have been toe up, too. I can't. I've been the well, one child. Well, not cousin, child. little nephew. I would have been toe up, too, man. I've been the one child's funeral, and I promise myself I if I ever, ever, ever can avoid it, I will at all costs. Yeah, it no is man. nothing like it. Thank God I ain't never been down that road. It is nothing like it. I ain't it. trying to travel on it either. That is terrible. Hmm. So Hannah was like, you know what, and this is what I was waiting for Hannah to do before it got to this point. She said that is her son. Yeah, you, you should have been said that before you even made all the funeral plans. That's all we've been saying the whole time. That's all you had to do. And all that, matter of fact, he would have been buried in this nice freaking blue, blue casket. Blue casket. Better, um, freaking, uh, 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 flyers. <laughs> but nah, you want to run your mouth. And want to take control. See, this is, a, this is my thing. Off. Like, everybody was like, it's I don't think she's going to cremate him, though. I think she just pissed off. Huh? I think she just pissed off. This, this is what I got to say about it. And y'all might disagree with me, but it's okay. We can agree to disagree. It's, that's all right. That's, it's all, that's, the that's world, what all about. The world's still going to go around whether yeah, you agree uh -huh. or not. But this is how I look at it. And everybody was like, you know, Candace and War, basically, their hands are bloody when it comes to the death of Lil' Q. I say that everybody's hands got That's blood. That's what I say at this point, yeah. Because y'all have to remember, when this first started off, Candace thought that her son was already dead. Yeah. The only reason she wasn't in her son's life was because Big Quincy threatened to kill her. Mm -hmm. And then he told her... Mm -hmm. That don't even worry about it because I already killed your son and he threw him over a bridge or something. Yeah, something so like for that. all these years, she didn't know her son was alive. He living with Quita over there in the projects, probably not eating at all. Mm -hmm. So then, when they found out that he was alive, wasn't it Benny that went over there and got him? All hell broke loose. Da 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 da. Candace eventually got her baby, mm -hmm. but because she had already did her skit and all of that, she thought it would be best to go ahead and let her son go into foster care. 
does foster care sound like a half bad idea right now? Because if he was in foster care he and Hannah know. did not go to steal him out the hospital, Man, you then talk to right there, buddy. and then talk to Catherine to get the lawyers and the judges and all of that to go in there mm -hmm. and do what they do to yep. get her custody of that baby, that baby wouldn't even be in the picture right now. Yep. And that's the and thing about it, as you bring that back up, that's a good goddamn point. Because that's the reason why Candace put him in the foster care, because she knew that he was going to be protected from all this bullshit. And mama went in there stolen with that big tatter bear. So that's why I said everybody has his blood I ain't on even him. think about that. Man, you a genius. I know. You a genius, boy. I God darn, I didn't even think about that. Even somebody disagree with you, I don't even care. I agree. I mean, long as we here, I don't give a fuck. Damn, we good, man. We <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how that's how I look at it. Yep. So, Hannah went ahead and just let it go. And um, Catherine was like, yeah, I can override it. She said, no, that is her son. At the end of the day, that's her son. And I'm like, like you said, we could have got to this happy medium in the beginning. Yeah. And all of this would... But no, anyway. all this would have... But, but like I said, I don't think she's going to cremate her. I think at this point... I don't know, babe. She's so vindictive towards um, Hannah that she felt like if I cremate him, I get to get back at her now. Because I know that's not what they want. Yeah, but, but, but hopefully she'll, she'll smoke a blunt and come to her senses. She can't have anyone from over here. <laughs> so, um... So Hannah's over there. She's basically saying her goodbyes to Lil Quincy because in her mind, as my B would say, this is going to be the last time that she actually sees his physical body. So she's basically telling him, you know, grandma did everything that she could do to protect mm -hmm. you. I hope that you're running free and that you're not alone. And she was saying all this stuff, you know, the scriptures yet with, um, Yo, Zoe oh, Slavey. Yo, Zoe Slavey. Yeah, yeah well, I, I trust, trust him. him. And Benny, he over there going through it. <laughs> Look, by this time, Catherine over there going through it. And she was like, at the end of the day, it, God says so, it is so, and there's nothing that I can do. And I'm sitting here like, hey, the, only, the only thing she didn't say was ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And get up out of here because you must. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> We over there at Demonica's house, y'all. Now, this is the Demonica show, and I'm so sick of Demonica showing her harm parts that I don't know what she to been, do. She showed her aid a whole episode. So, she up in Melissa's face, right? <clears throat> looking like the mother of the bride on her wedding day. But, I'm sure you know what? I cannot do it with Demonica today. She looks at Melissa and said, why don't you fix yourself up? You ain't ate nothing. You ain't did nothing to get no nourishment to this baby or no nothing. So she took the sandwich and slapped the girl inside the her face with the sandwich. And then the next thing we know, she told the girl, say, if you don't eat this sandwich and took it through the ham sandwich in her face, Melissa had breadcrumbs on her nose, <laughs> up in her eyebrows and stuff. And that's one thing you don't do. You don't mess with black girls' eyebrows. And Yeah. I just knew at that time that she was going to haul off and slap the skit right on up out of her. Or at least choke her. I was or do, ready. Or do something. So she terrorizing this poor girl. So she went to slap him. And Melissa grabbed her hand like, look. Uh -huh. And I said, do something. That's that Taekwondo training for do you right something. there, buddy. But she didn't do nothing. <clears throat> so then Demonica calls Jeffrey. Told Jeffrey, said, didn't I took and told you to be here or be square? He over there, he just, you know, doing what he do. Trying to, because you know him and his daddy got a plan. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the plan is. Because, but they got a plan. But they got a plan. So he's over there stalling and doing what he doing. Demonica was like, you know what? I got the head on the court. And when I get back, you better have fix yourself up, fix your hair, do something. Because why would a man want to come home to a woman looking like that? Melissa said, especially when he's a gay, gay man. man. That's what she, that's that's what she, she slapped back. <laughs> and, and she said, don't you ever say that word in front of me ever again. Now I know this is a show, y'all. And I know it's a show. But that happens so much in families. I got something mm -hmm. going on in my family right now. Mm -hmm. Dealing with a gay individual that their family member just don't want to do. Be bothered. Uh, be bothered. Don't want you to mention it. Don't. And I mention it on pure God doing meanness because that's the kind of person that I am. And I'm like, I, I don't get it. I yeah. just don't get it. Anyway, not going to go down that rabbit hole tonight. Yeah. But then we saw Wyatt. Wyatt is walking in the park, and I don't even know why he was even in this episode. They paid him to walk in the park for two and a half minutes. With a minutes. can of camera. With a, him and that, and that drug chick. 
And next thing we know, this priest had walked and bumped into Wyatt and Wyatt got all shaken. And I he said, hold on, was that the priest that, that him. molested him when he went to camp? Yeah. Because ever since he bumped into him, Wyatt been off his rocker. And he told Anna at one point, he said, you know what? I think we need to go right on back, back to my home. condo. We need to go home. Because I said, and they didn't develop that no more. Not I'm a, saying, so why I'm like, why even, even show him? Yeah, why you even show it? Because by the time we come back on the January, we ain't going to remember that booze again. And they ain't even going to be, they ain't even going to be. We know what they're going to do. They're, gonna do. they're probably going to put it in the previews. We talking about Tom. But, but all we'll roads see. lead to Ford Motor Company. <laughs> so then Jim, we see Jim, he runs up on, on Candace at the hotel because you know at this time he got to be at the hotel because Catherine mm, put him out. Put his time for us out. Now something happened within this exchange that messed me all the way up. Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to figure this one out. And I had to rewind it twice and I'm still messed up because yeah. I'm like, what, Jim, what, what are you saying here? Yeah. So he goes up to her because she can't get in her room, and he's like, "You know what? You can come stay in my room because if I if I um put the totals in, you owe me sex for a very long a time. A whole lot of sex. So you can come in my room if you want to." And she was he. Oh, and Jim was like, "You know what? War's looking for you." She said, mm, "War's dead. dead." Oh, he said, "Oh, I oh, know that." Oh, I know that. She said, "Well, how would well, you, you know that? that?" So Candace wheels started turning, and she said, "Hmm." Jim sat there and basically admitted to her, look, <laughs> I'm the one that told War about how much money you really got out of me. Mm -hmm. And she said, so you're the reason why my son's dead right now. He was like, um, come again? Say, yeah, he killed my son behind that little bit of information. He was like, hmm, I didn't kill your son. I because know. I know how it feels to lose a child. Yeah, I care about it. I'm so sorry this happened to you. So he looked at her. And she looked at him and she said, that Amanda situation, you know, I didn't have anything to do with that. He said, mm, inadvertently. Inadvertently you, you did. didn't. But, so she said, are you trying to tell me inadvertently that you did something to my son? He said, now think about this. You would have to, what was the, what was the word that he, he used? He said, you got to be a marksman. A special marksman. To be way over there. And shoot past Hannah and hit your son. And I said, what? How the hell did you know that? How did you know? Yeah, because he didn't know nothing about Candace covering up, trying to... Hannah stop. covering up... Yeah. How, 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 so I'm like, was there a sniper somewhere? It... Yeah. Yeah. I don't... I'm so confused. Because he talked about that thing like he knew. And I don't right. remember War telling him anything about that. I remember him confronting War about something. And War said, you know, I'm sorry about that. But there was no details given. Yeah. But maybe I'm... Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just they, maybe, they, maybe they did some experience shooting there to do it. Because I... Yeah. He throw the rent, monkey wrench in there and on said, that one. I said, if he had something to do with this... Whoo! So... He, and then this is the part that really sealed the deal for me. When he walked away from Cam um, Candace, he said, I don't forget nothing, B. And walked off like I did it, but I ain't saying I did it. And she looked at him and said, mm-hmm, and neither do I. Wow. And I said, yeah. okay, I could have <laughs> really just, y'all could have developed that for me. Yeah. And I would have yeah. been good. Because too much of Demonica is like too much sugar. After a while, it just makes your head yeah. hurt. And you just feel sick about it. You know what yeah. I mean? You just don't want it no more. You just want a whole bunch of water and go to bed. <laughs> so then we got Demonica again. Again. So because she can't get in her room, she downstairs in the lobby. Demonica comes up to her and was like, hey, mm, girl, I need your help. I need a favor this time. One that's going to keep you out of jail. So would you like to take door number one or door number two? She said, I don't want to take that one. Now, I don't even care. Because at this point. Lock me up. Throw away. Throw away the key. I ain't afraid. Of <laughs> <laughs> that day going to catch. So I don't care. Demonica said, well, you know what? I got something for you to see. She said, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Um, Erica. See, you know, I saw everything. And she was like, saw everything. She said, I know you don't trust her. And I know that she hates your guts. And this, that, and the third. And, and I saw it on the video. And I saw it on the video. It's like, said, what, what video is you talking about? And Candace said, how did you get video in her room? And she said, I sent her flowers. 
She said, I know about that, but she threw the flowers out. Demonica said, well, no, no, no. Y'all little gutter hood rat bees. Y'all can't resist a nice vase. So she said she threw the flowers out, but she went back and got that vase. vase. And she said, I had the camera planted in the box. And, and so, she, that, so that means she didn't listen to David. David said, you need to get rid of the whole thing. Because my wife is crazy. She got something planted in that in that goddamn flower. You throw the whole... She just threw the flowers away. So she don't basically see Deacon David in that long stroking, uh -huh, uh -huh. digging up down. I've been stroking. See, you know, eating, eating oh, the yes, box. I am. Like, mm -hmm. He ate the box and everything. He did everything. Everything he could do. He did it. Yup, he did. So she get these sweet walls. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the nuts hanging out. Yup. <laughs> and she saw it all. But she told Candace, I need you to, I need you to tell me what Erica's angle is. And I'm saying, well, no, he, is, she said y'all angle, what y'all got angle. playing for David. And I'm saying, and I want in. don't you know that? But I forgot when they talked about that, they weren't in that room. Yeah. So I said, okay. So she kind of still got it. But Candace said, no, I'm not going to help you. Take me to jail. Mm -hmm. Lock me up. And we saw Jennifer Hudson's um, fiance come and lock her up. Mm -hmm. she, and I said, so, Kaz, you really just don't give a buck right now. And I can't even I, say I'm mad. I said, I said, she said that now until she get behind them balls. <laughs> huh? Listen, look, I went to the Scared Straight program right when I was in high school. Because um, I wasn't as bad as the other people that went with me, but I qualified you still to was go. bad as hell. Yeah, I was. So All they sent me look. to um, Scared Straight, right? And because y'all, if any of y'all know my past, I'm a victim of molestation, rape, or whatever. So, when they had to check me, I lost it. I lost my everlasting mind, and you know what? They ain't give a bug. So, I'm sitting here like, don't nobody care about me. And then when I went through the double door, so they slammed that door behind me, and I was like, Jesus, I'm gonna do right. I'm gonna go up and talk to the principal when I get back to school. I'm gonna do right. You gonna apologize? You gonna do all your work? You can get straight A's? I did it for like two weeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I try to tell you, but schools ain't like they are no more. I thank God for my counselors, my principals, and my vice principals that actually cared back then. Mm -hmm. Because when I quit school, I woke up one morning and they were in my house and they said, I'm not going to let you quit. And wow. I was like, you don't have that no more. They just be like, oh, she ain't been to school for 28 days. Checked her off the list. And when I walked across that stage, I gave them the biggest hug ever because that's the only reason that I finished school. And they let me do my, my work in their office every day so that they can make sure that I stayed out of trouble and they make sure that I felt like I could stay in school because I got into a lot of skit while I was yeah. in school. So I'm like, dang. You're still full of it. Yeah, but at least. But ain't it crazy that both of us dropped out of school mm -hmm. and went back? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is crazy. That is crazy. But anyway, and then went to college and got all these got doing degrees. Look, we act like we ain't got no sense. Like um, Jesse Duplan to say, I may not be smart, but I'm educated. Uh huh. <laughs> Cause I know a little something or a little something, and what I don't know, I ain't gonna let you know. I don't know. Uh uh. I'ma act like I know. And I got uh -huh. the bills. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> My student loans is paid for, baby. <laughs> yeah. So sitting up in um Jeffries, we was sitting up in my room. Him and Justin sitting on the bed. Didn't said, sit, like, didn't she just threaten y'all? Said she going down to the court. She gonna tell your wife what you and Jeffrey did. Show her the video. And Jeffrey, you going to jail. And Jeffrey knows she don't bluff when she says she gonna do that bullshit. And, and I'm still, still there. confused. So Justin is in there. Justin Timberlake still talking about some. Hey, she can we? Can we get our rocks off real quick? She ain't gonna do it. She, she ain't, gonna do she it. ain't about that life. Jeffrey's like, she's gonna do it. Yeah. And Jeffrey basically is sitting there with him because she, you know, he's supposed to be over there at the house with Melissa Thomas. I'm waiting for my daddy's plan. Now, daddy's plan was do not take your goddamn tail down there to that goddamn courthouse. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to do because everything that she's gonna throw up against you is a bluff. That stuff is there, Miss. I can't talk tonight. It can't be brought up. Yeah. <laughs> in court. Next thing we know, there's a note being slid underneath the dead on her, um, <laughs> the door in the hotel. Jeffrey looked down at the note said, my, my mama. mama. They go out in the hallway and she, she walking back towards the elevator. They walk up behind her and Justin Timberlake <laughs> go grab her by her arm and she said, 
What you doing on my on me, girl? Get your hands off me, girl. On my four thousand dollar suit, suit, girl. I'ma show you that black lives do matter. I said, you know what? Stop it. I cannot. And she said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go to court. I'ma go ahead and let them know what I know. If you don't hurry up and do what you're supposed to do, and yep. that's what Jeffrey was like. You know what? Everything my daddy told me, buck that. I'm going. I'm going out to jail. And I said, you know what? You gonna buck yourself up when you go down that to that house. I was thinking, yeah. And we gonna see how that came out. So what the hell else happened? Um, right oh, right. David and Erica. <sighs> Erica, she felt like a million bucks now. She said, "I this view, I feel like I can live here forever." David said, "That's what I want you to do." <laughs> what did he say, Seth? That? That's what I want you to do. <laughs> <laughs> but David said, you know what, buck that view. I want to know about that bruise and that ex. Yeah. What's going on? Tell me I need name. a name. I said her name Candace. Yep. That's her name. <laughs> it ain't a him. That's <laughs> yeah, a whore. What's that what song? What her name? I was ready for Barbara. Y'all remember that? Oh, yeah. But all the time it was him <laughs> that was sleeping <laughs> with my man. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> But that's the opposite. All the time it was her. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know what? I'm hungry. You ain't got nothing in your refrigerator. David said, listen. What did he say? I ain't cooked in a while. I ain't cooked in a while. And he ain't been grocery shopping a guy nope. in a while. So we're going to go out to eat. And she, you know, and then she did that dry bagging like y'all say. I, oh, and this? You know this? Oh, but you can take me to the thrift store. David, David said. said I ain't never take none of my women to no thrift though. How many women you had? Yeah, how many you don't have, pimp? Huh. So I said, uh-huh. That was her way of saying, I'm not, I don't want to spend all your money, but I do. I said, I told Lynette, I said, wait a minute. I said, ain't David them still judges? When the last time these suckers done been to work? Where's you getting all this money from on this nice place? Gonna take a going out to breakfast, going grocery shopping. And, and going clothes shopping, where all this money coming from, y'all ain't been to work. And you know Captain already said the day's broke. Yeah. Maybe he paid his rent up for a while. I know what's going on. David said I'm selling that cocaine. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? That white horse. <laughs> so, um, what else happened? Lord, y'all. Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. And when I saw it, I immediately knew mm -hmm. what was going on. Yep. Melissa done went and got a wire hanger. Mm -hmm. And if y'all know anything about black market abortions, y'all know that's how they do them. And when she grabbed that, and I said, all I need her to do is go grab some salt because they do it with salt and a hanger. Don't ask me how I know. I just know stuff that I should know. <laughs> and... She took that hanger, and of course, they won't going to show us that. But the next thing we know, DeMonica got a phone call that said the, the chick is at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this babe, this baby is a prophet. Let me tell you. Because anything she tried to do to this baby, this baby said, Yeah, lies. she got some kind of purpose here on the East. That baby is Everything gonna she be, do, don't worry. That baby going to be the president. Uh-huh. Because she don't try to get rid of that baby all kinds of ways. That baby said, uh-uh, I'm still I'm here. I'm still here. Say, put that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. So, um, next thing we know, Demonica's in the courthouse like she said she was going to be. And her and George is going at it. Well, her trick worked. Yep. She basically said, hey, y'all got a body. But, uh-uh, y'all can't use you, you it. You can't use that body. Mm -hmm. Time stamp. Body was resumed at this time. Ownership of this home was at this time. So, what you got on Candace? Ain't gonna work, ain't so you gonna might work. as well just throw it on now. The judge was like, true. I'm glad y'all ain't have Judge Hatchet. That evil hell. Uh, no, no, no. Not Hatchet. Hatchet. Um, what her name is? Um, the lady you can't stand. The old that. lady. That I was, just be talking all kind of skit to everybody. You can't even sneeze in her courtroom. You stop sneezing. Put your hand down. Yes or no? Bad thing, I was watching her yesterday and I can't even think of her name. Yeah, I don't worry about it. Yeah, it don't even matter. She's just evil. I uh, said she won't pull that bull's get on people in the streets. I don't know. I just said, I just want one person to be like, I'm going to take a L. You ain't going to bounce back, but I'm yeah. just going to take the L and smack the skit out of her for everybody that she done disrespected <laughs> in her courtroom. So, huh? DeMonica got the body. 
thrown out from the case. And then she argued this and she said, well, we can go ahead with the case, but it's going to be really hard to win a case when you I don't have a body. body. So and George, even Joy said that. True. <laughs> so then the judge said, you know what? Okay, so all the charges basically against um, Candace Young, because she told Candace, are you, when she, before she went to court, she stopped by her jail cell, say, is she in or you out? Mm -hmm. And by that time, Candace was like, I'm, I'm in. I, hey, hey, you, if I walk, I'm in. So, now that they don't got the body uh, thrown out, they basically don't have a case at all. Nope. We thought we were in the clear. And then we saw Jeffrey with his stupid cell walk up into the courtroom. And then I said, you know what? Tyler, all roads lead for a motor company because I don't been to court a couple of times and you just don't walk up in court. You can't just walk up once, once. Once them doors close. Now, I don't know about a preliminary hearing. I ain't never been to that. That's those. even worse. That's the more private. Thing. That's even more private. But we just know you just can't walk because, matter of fact, there's going to be two police on the other side yes. of the door. Well, anyway, Jeffrey walks up in the guy door court and DeMonica was about to walk on out yep. with her win. And she said, you know what, Your Honor, there is something else. one more thing that I have. A confession. My son, Jeffrey Harrington, confessed to the murder of Quincy Maxwell. I said, oh my God. The judge said, come again? George said, come again? So you don't want to do that? What are you doing? She said, do you want this case or not? He was like, I'll take it and I will win. She said, mm-hmm, remember the keys? Mm-hmm. So George was like, <laughs> she said, okay. And she said, oh, by the way, judge, I have something else. Roll that beautiful bean yeah. footage. Everybody look this way. And the judge got to see her husband in the bed in the hotel <laughs> with Jeffrey Harrington talking about how, how much, much he, he loved him. And man. he been fiending for him. Judge was like, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a, a recess. recess and I said she said you know what go ahead and arrest him and I said Demonica what that buck are you doing and she said didn't I tell you mm -hmm. to go home and to stay away and she looked at Justin and was like hmm didn't I tell you I'm not the one to be bucking with now deal with it but the thing about it is them two dummies never came there she would have never did it came together came together. So that made it even worse. Maybe if Jeffrey came by himself, yeah. he it might have made, made, made a battle. No, what I would then I would I would have said Justin by his Me too. Me too. <laughs> but that's what you get for not listening to your daddy. Uh-huh. Your so, daddy told you. So we see Melissa and um D Monica <laughs> riding and I said that car don't look like her car. Well, DeMonica said, you think I'm going to pick you up in my car the way you've been bleeding all over the place? Oh, yeah. no, girl. They drive her car. I'm driving your car to take you to my facility so that they can keep you safe until you have this beautiful baby. Because you keep trying to kill yourself and this baby, and I'm not fitting to have it. And that this exact time, this guy throw a truck pulled up behind them like on Jeepers Creepers. That's why I wish they like Jeepers Creepers. Bam! Boom! Bam! And it was a big old redneck truck, too. You know uh -huh. the boys. <laughs> And first day Stella said, Justin. That's Justin. Justin is ramming the skit out of the back of her car. And she <gasps> was like, boom, boom. And Melissa's laughing. She said, but you're laughing at you crazy bee. She said, because somebody hates you just as much as I hate you. And she was like, you know what? She said, um, we can keep this baby safe. I don't care nothing about this. And at that time, I said, Melissa, grab the wheel. Mm -hmm. Grab the wheel. I knew she was going to do it. And Melissa grabbed the wheel, and they went boom, 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 boom. boom. And I said, the devil ain't dead. Nah, and ain't Justin dead. just rolled on by like. He looking like that. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Where did he get that truck? I hope it wasn't his truck. That might be his off-duty truck. <laughs> they don't make too much money on the police that's, force. That's, that is hunting and fishing truck. Well, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.